Amen. At this time, I present to you all Evangelist Claudette Murphy. Amen. Jesus, again, just thanking you all for, oh God, just for being here, just, uh, just thanking, just once, first of all, saying happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Before I get started, I'm going um, to do a word, I'm going to pray, Father God, thank you. Father God, coming to you, Lord God, this morning, just thanking you, Lord God, for this day. Lord, the song says, speak the name, God, there's power in your name, God. Just thanking you for everyone that pressed their way here on this morning, Lord God. I'm asking you to, to, to speak, Lord God. Don't let it be me speak, but let it be you. Let me deny myself, Lord God. Have your way, Lord God. Pass the first lady, lift them up, Lord. Just continue to keep them covered, Lord God. And continue to keep, let them do what you call for them to do. Not only them, but all of us, Lord God. And do what you call for us to do, Lord God. And just thank you for Facebook, Zoom, everyone is watching us on this on this day, Lord God. I'm asking the Lord God for them to get something out of your word, Lord God. And and bind up any any deaf ear, anyone that's not listening, Lord God. Cause may, maybe they, they, um the one that's not listening is okay. Um I don't want to hear her speak, but Lord God, let them know God. It's not me, but it's you speaking through me, Lord God. And not only me, Lord God, you know, and some say women shouldn't speak, but Lord God, you got a word in me, Lord God, and you got to let it out, Lord. And I just want to say thank you for your love, Lord, but using me, Lord. You didn't have to do it. But you did. And I just want to say thank you, you Lord God. Lord God, I'm praying now, God, you can, Lord, let all of us surrender to you, Lord God. Let all of us, Lord, walk into our purpose, Father God. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. You, can, you brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. And I just want to say thank you. You, I can't thank you enough, Father God. If I had 10,000 tongues, God, I couldn't thank you enough, Father God. Oh, God, I thank you. You, I love you, Father God. The means to keep them covered, Lord God. And continue to keep using our means also, Lord God. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray and stay. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I will, my topic will be the benefits of the name of Jesus. Thank you, the benefits. And we'll be looking at Acts 4 and 12. Thank you, Lord God. It lets us know. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Let us know there, there's no other name. Buddha, Muhammad, no other name. Jesus is the name, y'all. We need Jesus is the name. And we get the benefit from him. And we must be saved. I have sound a horn, I have sound, I have blown up trumpet. Just, just let you know we need to be saved. He's not family member. We need salvation. We, you know, we need salvation. We be saved through the Holy Spirit. And you've been saved and, and just give your life to the Lord. It's much easier than not being saved. And when, you, when you're saved, you got a conscience. You know, you got a conscience. When you, I heard, um, even Deacon the Lost was talking this morning. You know, when, when you do something, and then you, and, and you know you, 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 when you do something, the wrong way God, uh, that conviction going to come. Because you know you do something, you got to do it God's way, not your way. It got to be God's way when you do it. God let us know, y'all, we must be saved, be born again. No other name. Jesus is the one you got to call on. Not mama. No, we, we figure that, you know, we come to church. We come, we come to church because cause mama coming. We got to get this for, you, for, for yourself. We got to get this salvation for yourself. It's free. You don't have to buy it. It's free. So you want to say, I don't have no money to get saved. You don't need no money. You need to come. Come just as you are. I'll come when I get ready. I'll come when I get my life right. How you going to get your life right? You can't get your life right. It takes God. But God help. God can do it for you. You can't do it for yourself. You can't do it for yourself. You need, we all need the Lord. We all need Jesus. That's the name, Jesus. Jesus, we need him. In this walk of life, you need him, y'all. Don't fear the Lord. I'm afraid. No, don't, don't be afraid. 
God is there for us. And we can call him anytime. He's right there, 24 7. 20 time. 24 7. We can call him anytime. Day, night. God will have no respect for a person. What he do for to other here, do for you too. And don't be jealous, y'all. Don't be jealous of no one in here. No one. That's coming down to your family members. Don't be jealous of them. If you need help, ask God, Lord, I need help. I need your help, Lord. God will give you he'll, he'll help you. We gotta do what the Lord say do. We gotta do what you want us to do. Not what we want to do. Lord, I surrender to you, Lord. I surrender to you. Hallelujah. God is a way maker. Yes, he is a way maker. Thank you, Lord God. And Romans 10, 13 says, for whoever shall call on the name of the Lord, and again, like I say, shall be saved. Call on his name. Receive him. Receive the Lord for salvation. We need salvation to get to heaven. Can't go any kind of way. Can't go any kind of way. Thank you, Lord God. Call on his name. We call everybody else name, but come to Jesus. We don't want to call you. Know. There's power in the name of Jesus Christ. And there's power, y'all. Oh, hallelujah. You know, some of us are real weak because we're missing out on the Lord. We're missing out on him. That's what we need. It's not our job. Yeah, we need to work also. But we need more of Jesus. We need him. We need Jesus. He's our provider. Yes, he is. Lord, I thank you. This is an everyday life. We're going to walk this thing. We're going to walk it. We're going to talk it. We're going to live it. we got to live it each and every day. Not just live it on a Sunday. Every day we got to live it. Thank you, Lord God. Someone is reading you. They read you now. When I say they read you, they're watching you. They're watching you what to do, what to say, where you go. We got to give it to the Lord. Amen. And leave it there. Amen. Give it to him. Thank you, Lord. Let him work it out. Yes. Let him work it out. Yes. He might say, I don't want to give it to him. I want to hold on to it. Okay, do it you please. You want to hold on to it? That's fine. But I wish you I'd let it go on this day. This day I would let it go. I would let it go. That prideful spirit, let it go. Amen. We need the Lord, y'all. Amen. We need him. We need him. But I receive him one day. I did got saved. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord God. And my life is not the same. My life is not the same. No, it's not. It's not the same. Your life won't be the same either. We gotta have him let God turn around. He'll turn around for you. He will turn around, work it out like for your good. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Got to call on you, your name, Lord. Y'all know y'all want the benefits of the Lord. Want his benefits? Yeah, even like your job, you have benefits. You got benefits here too with the Lord. My God, he's keeping us down through this pandemic. God doing it. I'm not doing it. God doing it for us. Thank you, Lord God. We can do nothing without him. Can't breathe. Can't, can't get up. My alarm clock woke me up. No, your alarm clock didn't woke you up. It was Jesus woke you up. It was Jesus. So don't never say my alarm clock woke me up. I'm going to set my alarm clock. It's been so long now, I don't even set my alarm clock. I don't set it no more. No more, I don't set my alarm clock at all. Because I know if I set it, it go off, and then if I don't hear it, I still, you know, some people oversleep anyway. When the alarm clock goes on, they still sleep. So I tell you right there, it's not your alarm clock. It's Jesus. He wake you up. Oh, my God, and you get up. Able to get up. Thank you, Lord God. Able to get up. Oh, hallelujah. A lot of people is unable to get up. But we're able to get up, get dressed. Lord, we thank you for that, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Let's go to Ephesians 8, 8 and 9. Hallelujah. Yes, God. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself is the gift of God. It is God's gift that we're saved. 
These ain't the ones that boast. So we're not boasting. Oh, I'm saved. I got a sign on my back. No, you don't have to put no sign on your back. Just let people see. Like I said earlier, see your life. The life I live, let it speak for me. You know, we got, our life got to speak for us, not nobody else. Let your life speak for you, what you do. What you do. Let's do the right thing in God's eyesight. Don't worry about what you're doing in people's eyesight, but in God's eyesight. Let God say, I'm well pleased. Well done. Come on. We want God to say that. We want God to help us. Let's follow after Jesus, y'all. Follow after him. He go, he's up on the cross. He's down on the cross and God died. This is for you and for me. Like that's something Mary's saying. Who don't want to serve a God like that? Let's serve him, y'all, to the day we die. We don't know how long we're going to be here. We don't know how long. But God knows how long we're going to be here. He asks me now, surrender. Surrender to him. Give it all to him. Totally. We all got to surrender. Yes. It costs us nothing to surrender to the Lord. Give him your time. It's too early to pray. No, it's, too, it's not too early to pray. It's never, ever too early to pray. You got to want to do this. You got to want to pray. You got to want to come in church. You got to want to praise the Lord. No one, you didn't come, no one came here for you to get pumped up. You should be already pumped up, ready to go. Pumped up, ready to go. And do what God calls you to do. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, we need him. We need God every day. Every day, we need him. Thank you, Lord. John 14 and 6. Yes, God. Jesus said to him, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He's the way. He's the way. The only way. The only way you can get to him. Through Jesus. Thank you, Lord, God. And the truth. God is truth, y'all. He's the truth. What they say, the truth will set us free, right? So we got to be truthful to God. Truthful to self. Truthful to self. You know something going on with you, but you're not saying nothing. You know you need the Lord. You don't try everything. Everything has failed. Got to try Jesus. Got to try Jesus. I'm going to work on Sunday and then I might feel better. Nah. I'm not going to come to church. That might help me. It's not helping. It's not working. I'm going to go out of town. That's not working. Let's look at our life. Look at our step. And see where we're going. If you had to stand still, change up. Change your direction. Let's turn around. Someone come to you and witness, listen. Don't put up a deaf ear. I don't want to hear that. They say, Jesus coming, he ain't got here yet. He's coming back, y'all. Ready or not, he's coming back. Yes, he is. We want to be ready when he comes. Just like those virgins, five and five and five and five was foolish. They didn't have what they needed. That's how we are. We like those virgins. You got to get it for yourself. Can't say, oh, can I borrow something? No. I ain't got enough for me. That's all. That's enough for me. So we know, we know how we, we love to borrow. Nah. What the Bible say? Be a lender, not a borrower. So even with the oil. Yeah, it was too late. The door was shut. Don't let it be too late. Don't let it be too late, y'all. We got time now. Men, we got time now. Don't let it be too late. Don't let it be too late. Thank you, Lord God. You might say, I don't want to call that person. If God put it in your spirit, call them. If God put it in your heart, say, okay, go by the house. I'll tell you what to say. Like he did Moses. I can't speak. You know, I'm, I stutter. 
It's not your voice no way. I said, God will use you. You don't have to be in the crowd for God to use you. He uses you now coming to church. Get the word from the Lord. Go back out and tell people what thus says the Lord. That's all you got to do. To read the type, I'm going to get it for myself and no more. And nobody else. You get it and spread abroad. Let's be disciples for the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's get all the benefits God got for us. Yes, God. You know God's a healer. Yes, he is. He'll heal you. He healed me. He can do it for you. Thank you, Lord God. God is a healer. He's provider. When I had nothing, and God made a way, Lord, I thank you. Well, I'm a nobody. God made me somebody. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord God. If we come out, what people tell us, you're going to be no good, you're going to be like your mama, you're going to be like your daddy. The devil is a liar. I'm going to be like you, God. Like you, God. Like you made me, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Jesus. Everything God made was good. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. God is good. Not summertime, but he's good all the time. Keep making the way over and over again. Yes, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. We got to tear those strongholds down and over our family members. Thank you, Lord God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. We got to let God have his way. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the truth. Thank you, Lord God, for, re for me receiving you. And we all got to receive him. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to Matthew 121. Jesus. And she will bring forth his son, and she shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sin. That's what God going to do. Save, the, save us from our sin, the ones not saved. God is there reaching out. Come to me, just as you are. You don't have to clean up. You don't have to do nothing. Come to me. Surrender. Surrender to him. Thank you, Lord God. Give it to him. Thank you, Lord. We can't do it ourselves. This life, we need God by our side with the footprint in the sand. And see, one, but God is carrying you. And some people say, I, I've been through so much. Been through so much. Sickness, death, loss of job. Everything coming after me. Look at Job. He went through what he did. He didn't let like his wife tell him, curse God and die. What he did? You foolish woman. So like I say, don't, don't curse him and die. Just keep living. When things, when things go back with us, we, some of us want to turn, turn around. And not come, just turn around and, and say, Lord, I give up. Don't give up. Anyone in here today want to give up? Feel like they want to give up? Throw in the towel. Hold on. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. God, I want you to never leave you, not forsake you. He's right there with you. No, some of us, we don't, we, no, some of us leave God. God don't leave us. We leave God. We leave God out of our prayer, our prayer time. Because we don't want to pray. We don't want to pray. Don't want to do nothing for the Lord. We want the benefits. That's like working. Not, that's like working. That's like going to work and you ain't doing nothing. We want the benefits. No, it ain't gonna work like that. When you go to work, you got to work. Put your time in. Then you get the benefits. You will get what you need. From, you will get the benefits. The time out. Better go out of you better go you better go out of town. You better have a vacation. But we told we need that eternal vacation with the Lord. Not about your job. With a job you have a vacation. But we need that eternal vacation. Be with the Lord. Thank you, God. We gotta be with him. Yes, his name is Jesus, y'all. His name is Jesus. No. Something about that name. Mm. No other name. Jesus. 
when you call them. That's how you feel. Just how I talk about myself, how I feel when I call his name. You can be going through. You can be on your sick bed, call his name. Call on Facebook, Zoom, just call his name, Jesus. That's all you can do, Jesus. Hallelujah, something about the name. Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for dying on the cross of me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, for all of my sins. For all of my, not so my sins, but all of my sins. Yes, everything I've done. Everything I've done, God has forgiven me. Not only me, He has forgiven you also. He has forgiven you also, young people. He has forgiven you also. Just live right for the Lord. Just live right for the Lord. You know, and your kids say, you old, you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. Been there, say, been there, done that. Y'all just listen at your parents. This Mother's Day. Thank you, God. Somebody not told the mother I love them. All your mother do for you is say, Mom, I love you. I love you, Mom. I love my mom. I love my grandmother. Thank you, Lord God, for them. When you see one, you see all, you see all three of us. Thank you, Lord, for my family. I thank God for the mother that's in this church. Because God is doing something with these, with the ladies, the women. We praying. Thank you, Lord God. We praying. We praying, women. We pray. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. So that's what we're going to do. Continue to keep praying for our family members. We know we can't do nothing without prayer, y'all. We can't do nothing without prayer. Prayer do change these things. Thank you, Lord. It will change these things. No matter what situation, whatever you're going through, it will change it. It will change. Prayer change it. Yes, God. I say don't change. It does change it. You got to have that faith and trust and don't doubt. Lord, I believe you, Lord God. Amen. I know you're going to work it out. Amen. You said you're going to do it, and I believe you. Yes. So that's what you got to do. Let him work it out. Not us work it out. Let him do it. Yes, Let him do it. And when he do it, it's done. It's already done. Already done. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You want that husband? Well, the Lord, he'll give it to you. He will give it to you. Yes, he will. Don't go out there and run and jump for anything, anybody. Oh, I can't do this by myself. I need my bills paid. Come on, man. You may be married and go with the devil. I got attached to the devil. But we don't want to get attached to the devil. Like I say, do it the right way. Do it God's way. Wait on the Lord. Stay holy. Thank you, Lord God. Stay holy. God is a holy God. Thank you, Lord God. You got to be holy. Thank you, Lord God. And he'll give you your heart desire. He'll give you, in, in, in due time, he'll give it to you. Don't rush for nothing. Thank you, Lord God. Even me, it's the same way. If you out there, you single, don't rush. Just wear the Lord. He'll, he'll find that right person for you. Thank you, Lord. You don't want a person, you in the church and he out the church. You don't want that. You don't want that. So y'all got to be, don't be on the yoke. Thank you, Lord. But if you're married and, and, and that already only we go, just keep praying and keep coming. He'll change it. He'll change the man. <laughs> He'll change it. Yes, he will. One thing about God, when you know a person changed, you know you want you you see the change in there. No one to tell them to come to church, come and pray. No one to tell them to do that. Because it's God in them. Yeah. Working on working in on the outside, inside working on the outside. So please don't get hooked with nobody who don't want to come to church. Thank you, Lord. I'm not picking on no one. I'm just letting you know. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let them, no, don't do it. Just, just wait. Wait. We so get impatient on waiting. We let those let the microwave. We want in a hurry. I can't. There's a few minutes putting the microwave is good and hot. One thing about that, it don't stay long. You don't stay hot long. You don't eat it right then, you gotta put it back into the microwave. 
Thank you, Lord God. I pray that oven. It'll 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 for a good bit. Lord, I thank you, Lord God. The Lord is so good, y'all. I know you know. I know you know. But I got to let you know some more. He's good all the time. All the time good. Hallelujah. John 1 and 12. Thank you, Lord God. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who belong in his name. Thank you, Lord God. You being, that's telling us right there, you being spiritual alive. In the spirit. And you got to receive him. Become God's children. Yeah, I know all of us want to be the God's children, right? Get saved. Be God's children. Do what God's have you to do. Not do what you want to do. No, God, you want us, God want us just to continue on to, to live for him. Live for God, not for ourselves. We got to receive his Holy Spirit. We got to see this, this flesh. They say it's a mess. That's so true. We want it. We want it. We want it when we want it, child. You know how we is in this flesh. Get to the spirit. To the spirit. Don't think it's strange you hear this morning. Don't think it's strange you hear. You listen. Don't think it's strange, strange at all. Just say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for being here, Lord God. On this Mother's Day, Lord, I thank you. You woke me up. You did it, God. And I thank you for that. Thank you, Lord God. God got work for all of us to do. He got work for you to do. Yield to the Spirit. Yield to Him. Yield to Him. To Lord, and the song, I give myself away. To you, Lord. I give myself away to the world. But Lord, it's now time to give it to you, Lord God. So we're going to give ourselves to the Lord. Not to this world. This world will have nothing to offer. Offer us what? Nothing. The world wants you to do what it want to do. Then when it get through with you, that's it. Let's do it God's way, y'all. Live right. Live right. How God wants you to live. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Don't be quiet. Say, Lord, I'm listening. Seek his face. Seek God's face. Thank you, Lord God. The Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord. Mm, Lord, I thank you for your Spirit. Your Holy Spirit. There's a lot of spirits in here. But I'm talking about the Holy Spirit, y'all. The Holy Spirit. They lay fire sharp in the bone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Jesus, hallelujah. You can't fake this, y'all. You can't fake this Holy Spirit, not at all. Thank you, Lord God. What it have you to say, you say. What it have you to do, you do it. Lord, I thank you for the Spirit, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God. Jesus, you keep my mind, y'all. The Holy Spirit, keep your mind in perfect peace, yes, it will. Thank you, Lord. Keep your mind steadfast on them. Lord, I thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God. Jesus, when I can't see my way, what he's doing right there, make it away from me. Hallelujah, God. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Let's go to Mark 16, 17, and 18. Oh, hallelujah. And these signs will follow those who believe. You got to believe. Mm, you got to believe. Thank you, Lord. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongue. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. They will take no, they will take up serpent. And if they drink anything deadly, it will no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Thank you, Lord God. And these signs we believe will follow them. Thank you, Lord. So we got to we believe, and the sign will follow you. Yes, it will. And it, the people not, they might, people, nobody gonna hurt you. A God before you gonna be against you. No one gonna hurt you, y'all. No one. Don't be afraid. Oh, like I said, the Holy Spirit. Don't be afraid. Someone trying to do something to you. What you gotta do? Pray for them. But you don't do what if, if someone do something for you, you pray for them. You don't turn around and do it to them. No, you don't do that. Thank you, Lord God. God is good. He's he keeping us now. That's what he's doing. He's keeping us from any deadly thing. Anything, you know, even with us drinking. Yeah, you shouldn't be drinking at all. 
Did that, yeah, you're gonna hurt, you're gonna, they're gonna make you sick. You should put nothing in your body like that. No way, don't do that. Thank you, Lord God. Let's put Jesus in our body. Let's read his word. Thank you, Lord. And do the word the Bible says do. Thank you, Lord God. What do you say do? That means do it. Thank you, Lord. Believe it depending on him. Thank you, Lord God. Nobody can hurt us, y'all. No one. You sick? Like, are you going to recover? Like, I know some people in this church here, they've been sick. And what God, God has recovered them. Thank you, Lord. He has recovered them. Yes, he has. He will recover you. Okay, what you're going through, is it nothing too hard for my God, our God. Nothing too hard for him. You know, he's not a respecter of person. What he do for one, he'll do for all of us. You got to continue to keep leaning and depending on him. Try Jesus. He's all right. Try him. I did. Yes, I did. I'm still trying. He's still, um, he's still working out. He's still, he's, saving, he's still in my life. He saved me. And I thank God for salvation, for saving me. Good news, his Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Luke 10 and 17. Thank you, Lord. Then the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even a demon are subject to, you, to us in your name. In your name. You no, know, I just said earlier, in your name. In Jesus' name. Demon. Subject to us. You're know, in, in his name. You can't do nothing with God but serve him. Y'all, nothing with him but serve him. Yes, there's demon out there. Are you walking out right? Speak to the demon. The devil, speak to him. Speak. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Right. The Holy Spirit, rise up big in me. I know, God, no weapon form against me is your prophet. No weapon. Thank you, Lord God. You got to speak, y'all. Speak. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Psalms 91 11. For he shall give his angel charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Thank you, his angel. God got angel, got angel over us. God got angels over us. He sees it. He sees us. He got angels, y'all, over us. So that's what we want to do. Continue to walk up right before him. Because God got angels. He's not going to hurt you. Don't be afraid to come to church. I'm afraid. There's COVID going on. Like I said earlier, way when I spoke a while back, I was thinking it would have been full. The house would have been full. Where is there to turn to? Where is, where is there to go? Nowhere. It's nowhere to go. Whoever out there on Facebook, if you're able to come, come to the house. Hallelujah. Come to the house. I thank God for being in the house of the Lord. One more time. <laughs> being in his house. Thank you, Lord. Where the feast of the Lord is going on. Thank you, Lord God. As for the head of the Psalm 149 and 10. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. As for the head of those who surround me, let the evil of their lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into the deep pit, that they rise not up again. So here we're going to say, you're going to let uh, with the fire, with the pit, to rise not up again. And those that surround us, doing things to us, they, they, it's not going to last. They're not gonna, it's not going to last at all. So whoever y'all doing, whoever's doing bad stuff to people, it's not going to last. Because when the word says, God be for us, who's going to be against us? Thank you, Lord. Philippians 2 and 9. Thank you, Father God. Philippians 2 and 9. Thank you, God. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and give him the name which is above every name. Thank you, Lord. The name which is above every name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. The name. The name. Hallelujah. It's in his name, y'all. It's not in my name. It's in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Colossians 3 and 17. Thank you, Lord. And, what's a, and whatever you do in words or deeds, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. So what you got to do there? In the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father. So what's we got to do? Give thanks to him. And do it in words and deeds. You know, do it, do it with sincere, you know, and giving thanks to God. You got to give thanks to him 24-7. Lord, I thank you. So what God do, you thank him. You know, Lord, I thank you for my hands. You know when you when you some hurt on your body and you don't you don't you don't think about it, but when it go to hurt, you think about it. You know something on your body hurt, you thinking about it. So we gotta give thanks to the Lord. You don't, you don't miss nothing like they don't miss nothing to the water to the well run dry. 
So in other words, that let us know there that we got to give thanks to everything. Lord, I thank you. I'm able to walk into the, to your house. I'm able to drive. I got a car, Lord. I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for able to put gas in. Everything is high in the store. But say, Lord, I thank you for letting me be able to even buy groceries. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for the food, Lord. Children, I let your parents know, Lord, Mom, Dad, I thank you for even buying food for me. I thank you. So we don't thank God enough. Thank you, Lord God. We have to continue to keep thanking the Lord. Every day when you wake up, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, God, for waking, waking you up. He didn't have to do it, but he did. You know, we got to be thankful for what God is doing for us. I know I thank God for what he's doing for me. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing for me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. John 14, 13, 14. And whatsoever you ask in my name, that I will do that, and the Father may be glorified in the Son. So if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. In Jesus' name. I know somebody said, I'm asking for, uh, for something. Maybe it's not time for it yet. It's not time for it yet. Just wait on the Lord. Wait. And you asking God for something, what are you doing for the Lord? What are you doing for the Lord? Somebody say, Lord, if you just save my husband, Lord God, and if you save me, Lord, I'm going to come to church. We're going to use us, Lord, use my name. Lord, you save me. I, Lord, if you give me this, no, I say, Lord, if you give me this car, I come to church. And what do you do? What do you do? You don't come. You go in another direction. That's all we got to do. We make God these promises. Lord, do it for me, Lord. But we don't. We don't do it. We renege on the Lord. But we don't, want God. we don't want to do that no more. We need to repent. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord God, for doing, what I, for, for doing what I um, shouldn't have done, Lord. Forgive me. Thank you, Lord God. Okay, Acts 5 and 40. Thank you, Lord. And they agreed with him. And when they had called for the apostles beating them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. So that's what we got to do. We got to speak the name. They're speaking, speaking, speaking Jesus' name. So they were they were beating. You know, we, we yeah, you're gonna get whipped. It's gonna be a time coming. You're gonna get beaten for for Jesus. You you know Jesus? Don't say no. I don't know him. Like Peter, I don't know. And you never say what you'll never do. You don't know what you'll do. But you should say, Lord, I know the Lord. But like Peter, he said, mm -mm, I know you. Thank you, Lord. You know, a child, of like a, you're a Christian, you're going to know. It, it just, being a big saved, he said, you're going to have to wear a sign. Because someone's going to know you're saved. Because they, they, they know it. They, they're looking at you, they know it. They know it, they know it, they know it. So, because when, when, even when we, we, myself, I'm out and about, and people see me, this the whole country's changed. So like I say, and, and maybe some of us might be out, and, and people, they, they just see you, and they don't, you know, just keep doing what they're doing. You know, but some people, they, they see you, they go to hide in a little beer can and stuff, but don't hide it. God sees it. One thing about that, y'all, you ain't got to hide. You, you, somebody, you know, you drink it or buy it, don't hide it. Don't hide it at all. Because God sees it. God sees what you're doing. But Lord, I thank you, Lord God. So we're here today to repent. You get our benefits. We want a benefit from Jesus. We want his benefits. Thank you, Lord God. That's what we want. His benefits. Okay. Um, 1 Peter 4 and 14. Thank you, Lord. If, you're, if you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you, the, the spirit of the spirit of glory and God rests upon you. On their part, he is blasphemed. On their part, he is glorified. Okay, you approach for the name of Christ. Bless are you. So even you come up, if you come um, near, if you come, if you are approached, you know, when like people approach you and they see you, you know, like I say, what you got to do is continue to do, do, do the word. Say what the word says, you speak the word. So we're here today to speak the word and, and let the word dwell in us. Thank you, Lord God. God, He will be glorified. You know the Spirit in you. The Holy Spirit, like first lady was saying, Holy Spirit, rise up big in me. So that's what we got to do. Ask the Holy Spirit to rise up big in us. In Luke six twenty two. Okay, bless are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you and revive you and cast 
I shall name it evil for the son of man's sake. Okay. Okay, when people hate you, okay, when they hate you, don't, don't you hate them back. Don't hate the people back because they hate you. You bless them. You love them. You love them. You love the people. Don't don't, don't hate them. Because evil, evil and evil, no. Like I said, what with war and all don't mix. But like I said, don't, don't do that. They hate you. Still love them. We got to love them. They do you wrong. They cuss you out. Still love them. So that's what we're going to do. We love them. Thank you, Lord God. Let's go to Acts 540. Thank you, Lord. And they agreed with him. And when they had called for the apostles and beaten them, they commanded to, okay, not speak in the name of Jesus. Let's go to Acts 3 and 6. Yeah, that's the one I need to go to. Okay. Then Peter said, Sim and gold I do not have, but what I do have, I give it to you. Okay. Right here when um when Peter was a lame man and said, you know, you wanted, he was saying that um he wanted to be here. Like Peter said, you know, sim and go I have, but sim and go I have not. But you know, what, what Peter had was you know, was you know, okay, Peter said, Sim and go I do not have, but what I do have is you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and that rise and walk. So what Peter did, he got up, he said, you know, you rise up and walk, rise up and walk. So, you know, our problem is not, it's not money. You know, even with the bad, even the man, he wanted, you know, he wanted money. So our healing is in Jesus, in the name of Jesus. That's what our healing is. So it's not about money. You know, we want money. Even with the people that are homeless, you know, they don't, they don't need money. They need Jesus, you know, and they do need a closer walk with, 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 with God. And if you, if you get attached to the Lord, give God our problem, give God everything, and God, he will work it out for us. So we got to, you know, just look at the life and see what you need from the Lord. It's not about money. If I can just win the lottery, I'll be all right. But no, what you going to do with it? That's too much money for you anyway. What you going to do with it? You can't spend it all. You can't spend it all. Okay, what? This don't give any money here playing lottery. That's on you, but I've been you, you can just put, be praying lobby, bring that money to the church. And let it, and yeah, do that. And you, and you, you will get, God will bless you. <laughs> he will bless you real good. So like I say, you know, it's not about the lottery. It's not about that. Why should I even play the lottery? What am I going to play the lottery for? God, oh my God, my father, the benefits. He'll give you what you need. God will do it for you. Don't say you're going to strike it big. To do what? Leave church? I, I, I advise you not to play. If you know you're going to leave church, mm -mm, don't leave church. We got to stay here, y'all. Thank you, Lord God. Okay, Acts 4 and 10. I'm almost there, y'all. I'm almost there. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel. That by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead by him, this man stand here before you whole. Okay, let it be known to you all, the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. Okay, so let it be known. So like I said, God was crucified for us, and he, you know, he, he was crucified. That we might have the right to a true of life. You know, and like I said, I know it, us in here, we would not die for no one else. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't die for no one else. I know we wouldn't. So God, he died for us that we might have the right to the tree of life. So God wants us to, you know, um, you know, do all even the, the, the benefits. He want to give us the benefit, you know, in Jesus. So we need the benefits for him and, and the man, you know, stand here before, you know, the man was whole. Even that the man, you know, the man is whole. And we're going to be holding the Lord too. We hold in him when you crucified him, God raised from the dead. Thank you, Lord. Let it be known to you all, the people of Israel. Lord, I thank you for that. Okay, let's go to Proverbs 18 and 10. Okay. Okay, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. So here, God wants us to be strong. Be strong in him. And stand up. Stand still. Be still. And see the salvation of the Lord. Thank you, Lord God. And God will take care of us. He's going to take care of us. And God will do what he said he's going to do. we got to continue to keep leaning and depending on him. And try Jesus. He's all right. I, like I say, try. Looking back over my life. Where he bought me from. 
was a nobody, but he made me somebody. Thank you, Lord God. So that's what you got to do. Get his benefits. Thank you, Lord. If we get benefits on the job, so we can get benefits from the Lord too. The, the, the benefit of the law is eternal. Eternal. So I, that's all I got for you all this morning. It's the benefits of the, the benefits of the name of Jesus. So thank you, Lord, for, for y'all. At this time we can stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God. Thank you, Lord, for the benefits. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Jesus. We can all to all. All to all. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, um, this time that all to call this. Um, thank you, Lord God. Lord, just thank you for this time, Lord God. This, so I come to you just thanking you, Lord God, for, for this, for, for your word, Lord God. It's talking, just asking, just for the benefits, Lord, your benefits. And we thank you for it. This continues to keep us, Lord God. No, Lord God, doing your will. And Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord. Let someone have got something out of it, Lord God. And Lord God, just have your way, Lord. Just continue to strengthen us, Lord God. And lead God in the records, Lord God. Lord, don't let us hold nothing back from you. Let us give it all to you. Give it our life, everything to you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, in everything we do and say, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. At this time, in the statement of faith, hallelujah. Statement of faith at this time.
At this time, we have tithes and offerings. Good morning again. I have one, one, one announcement into your hearing on today. Happy Mother's Day again. Um, Veterans Friendly Church. This um, is coming from Brother Jacobs. Um, in preparation for our Memorial Day program, please provide pictures and or videos of veterans in your family who have passed. Please include family members and friends' names, branch of service, and email to the church at churchmpbc at gmail.com or give to Brother or Sister Jacobs by Sunday, May 22nd. Help us honor family and friends who paid the ultimate price for our freedom. And again, this is in preparation for Memorial Day. Please submit your pictures and or videos to that church email address. And if you have questions, you can see Sister Peaches in the church office or Sister Mary or Brother Wilbur Jacobs. Amen. Amen. At this time, we'll have Pastor Thomas. Did you all enjoy yourself today? Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Y'all give sisters a round of hand praise. Amen. The Vandals Murphy hand praise. Praise God. All the singers, all of the children from the dancing and everything's going on. I just want to come up and say happy Mother's Day. All the mothers in the house, stand up. We want to stand up, mothers, so we can celebrate you. Y'all clap your hands for these mothers. Y'all, without a mother, we wouldn't be here on this earth. My God, my God. So we thank you. We celebrate you on today. Thank you for being such wonderful women and such 
loving mothers and caring. And, I, and, and one thing about motherhood is there are so many mothers that ain't never gave birth, but they raised more children than some of the mothers that gave birth. So we celebrate you as well. We praise God and celebrate your life as well. We want to thank God for everything that he's doing and everything that he will can do. We serve a God that has all power. Nothing is too hard for our God. So you ought to get excited about the fact that you're alive and well, breathing with the blood running warm in your body. I praise and glorify God. Hallelujah, Lord. Come on, Evangelist, you can close us out. I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and to my beloved first lady, my wife. Give her a celebration of good mother, amen. A good first lady, we praise God. Amen, amen. to watch over us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up, up in his conscience upon us and give us peace this day and forevermore. May everyone go in peace in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Listen, man, you got um, on the table for the mothers of, um, you got stuff on the table, y'all can go. And then the leftover